Team 12's Jessica Danova shows us what fire crews are doing to protect homes and a historic cabin in the area. Jessica. The Boundary Fire is burning on Kendrick Mountain. This is the same area scorched by the pumpkin fire back in 2000, and that's helping keep these flames under control. Less timber is left to burn in this wilderness. Significantly less fuel than the 2000 fire, but there's still quite a bit of dead and down that needs to be cleaned up. The hills and dead trees are making it unsafe for fire crews to fight these flames directly. Also challenging, nothing motorized can be used in the wilderness, so firefighters are counting on road systems and burning around them to make a strong perimeter. Using those features creates significantly less work for the firefighters on the ground where we can be more efficient. This indirect firefighting also helping protect the nearly 20 occupied homes in the area. There's no threat to those structures as of now and they are just being taken into account as a value at risk and something that we are mitigating by putting in those contingency lines. These lines won't protect a lookout tower and historic cabin. Since that is the top of the mountain, fire moves uphill, um, it is going to steadily grow that direction. But crews were helicoptered out there Wednesday afternoon to wrap these structures in fire resistant material and clear vegetation around them. Crews say it's likely this fire will grow to 17,000 acres and expect to have it contained in two to four weeks. We're in the Kendrick Mountain Wilderness, Jessica Danova, 12 News. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica. Well, relief from the wildfire danger up north.